In chemistry and manufacturing, electrolysis is a technique that uses a direct electric current DC to drive an otherwise non-spontaneous chemical reaction. Electrolysis is commercially important as a stage in the separation of elements from naturally occurring sources such as ores using an electrolytic cell. The voltage that is needed for electrolysis to occur is called the decomposition potential. History The word, electrolysis, was introduced by Michael Faraday in the 19th century, on the suggestion of the Rev. William Wewell, using the Greek words electron, electron amber, which since the 17th century was associated with electric phenomena, and lysis, lysis meaning dissolution. Nevertheless, electrolysis, as a tool to study chemical reactions and obtain pure elements, precedes the coinage of the term and formal description by Faraday. 1785 Martinus van Marum's electrostatic generator was used to reduce tin, zinc, and antimony from their salts using electrolysis. 1800 William Nicholson and Anthony Carlyle view also Johann Ritter, decomposed water into hydrogen and oxygen. 1808 Potassium 1807, Sodium 1807, Barium, Calcium and Magnesium were discovered by Sir Humphrey Davy using electrolysis. 1821 Lithium was discovered by the English chemist William Thomas Brand, who obtained it by electrolysis of lithium oxide. 1833 Michael Faraday develops his two laws of electrolysis, and provides a mathematical explanation of his laws. 1875 Paul Emile Lecoq de Boisbaudrin discovered gallium using electrolysis. 1886 Fluorine was discovered by Henri Mawson using electrolysis. 1886 Hall Arrow process developed for making aluminium 1890 Kastner Kellner process developed for making sodium hydroxide Overview Electrolysis is the passing of a direct electric current through an ionic substance that is either molten or dissolved in a suitable solvent, producing chemical reactions at the electrodes and a separation of the materials. The main components required to achieve electrolysis are an electrolyte, a substance, frequently an ion conducting polymer that contains free ions, which carry electric current in the electrolyte. If the ions are not mobile, as in most solid salts, then electrolysis cannot occur. A direct current DC electrical supply, provides the energy necessary to create or discharge the ions in the electrolyte. Electric current is carried by electrons in the external circuit. Two electrodes, electrical conductors that provide the physical interface between the electrolyte and the electrical circuit that provides the energy, electrodes of metal, graphite and semiconductor material are widely used. Choice of suitable electrode depends on chemical reactivity between the electrode and electrolyte and manufacturing cost. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Process of electrolysis. The key process of electrolysis is the interchange of atoms and ions by the removal or addition of electrons from the external circuit. The desired products of electrolysis are often in a different physical state from the electrolyte and can be removed by some physical processes. For example, in the electrolysis of brine to produce hydrogen and chlorine, the products are gaseous. These gaseous products bubble from the electrolyte and are collected. 2 sodium chloride plus 2 H2O2 NaOH plus H2 plus Cl2A liquid containing electrolyte is produced by Solvation or reaction of an ionic compound with a solvent such as water to produce mobile ions An ionic compound is melted by heating an electrical potential as applied across a pair of electrodes immersed in the electrolyte. Each electrode attracts ions that are of the opposite charge. Positively charged ions cations move towards the electron providing negative cathode. Negatively charged ions anions move towards the electron extracting positive anode. In this process electrons are either absorbed or released. Neutral atoms gain or lose electrons and become charged ions that then pass into the electrolyte. The formation of uncharged atoms from ions is called discharging. When an ion gains or loses enough electrons to become uncharged neutral atoms, the newly formed atoms separate from the electrolyte. 
Positive metal ions like Cu++ deposit onto the cathode in a layer. The terms for this are electroplating, electrowinning, and electrorefining. When an ion gains or loses electrons without becoming neutral, its electronic charge is altered in the process. In chemistry, the loss of electrons is called oxidation, while electron gain is called reduction. Topic: <inaudible> Oxidation and reduction at the electrodes. Oxidation of ions or neutral molecules occurs at the anode. For example, it is possible to oxidize ferrous ions to ferric ions at the anode. Fe2 plus AQ Fe3 plus AQ plus E minus reduction of ions or neutral molecules occurs at the cathode. It is possible to reduce ferrocyanide ions to ferrocyanide ions at the cathode. Iron 3 cyanide minus 6 plus E minus iron 4 cyanide minus 6 neutral molecules can also react at either of the electrodes. For example, P benzoquinone can be reduced to hydroquinone at the cathode. Plus 2 E minus plus 2 H plus. In the last example, H plus ions, hydrogen ions also take part in the reaction, and are provided by an acid in the solution, or by the solvent itself water, methanol etc. Electrolysis reactions involving H plus ions are fairly common in acidic solutions. In aqueous alkaline solutions, reactions involving O minus hydroxide ions are common. Sometimes the solvents themselves usually water are oxidized or reduced at the electrodes. It is even possible to have electrolysis involving gases. Such as when using a gas diffusion electrode. <inaudible> <inaudible> Energy changes during electrolysis The amount of electrical energy that must be added equals the change in Gibbs free energy of the reaction plus the losses in the system. The losses can in theory, be arbitrarily close to zero, so the maximum thermodynamic efficiency equals the enthalpy change divided by the free energy change of the reaction. In most cases, the electric input is larger than the enthalpy change of the reaction, so some energy is released in the form of heat. In some cases, for instance, in the electrolysis of steam into hydrogen and oxygen at high temperature, the opposite is true and heat energy is absorbed. This heat is absorbed from the surroundings, and the heating value of the produced hydrogen is higher than the electric input. <laughs> Related techniques The following techniques are related to electrolysis. Electrochemical cells, including the hydrogen fuel cell, use differences in standard electrode potential to generate an electrical potential that provides useful power. Though related via the interaction of ions and electrolysis and the operation of electrochemical cells are quite distinct. However, a chemical cell should not be seen as performing electrolysis in reverse. <laughs> Faraday's laws of electrolysis First law of electrolysis In 1832, Michael Faraday reported that the quantity of elements separated by passing an electric current through a molten or dissolved salt is proportional to the quantity of electric charge passed through the circuit. This became the basis of the first law of electrolysis. The mass of the substance M deposited or liberated at any electrode is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity or charge Q passed. In this equation K is equal to the electromechanical constant M equals K Q display style M equals K C D O T Q or M equals E Q Display style m equals e c d o t q, where e is known as electrochemical equivalent of the metal deposited or of the gas liberated at the electrode. Topic: <laughs> Second law of electrolysis. Faraday discovered that when the same amount of current is passed through different electrolytes, elements connected in series, the mass of substance liberated, deposited at the electrodes is directly proportional to their equivalent weight. Topic: 
Topic: Industrial uses. Electrometallurgy is the process of reduction of metals from metallic compounds to obtain the pure form of metal using electrolysis. Aluminium, lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, and in some cases copper, are produced in this way. Production of chlorine and sodium hydroxide Production of sodium chlorate and potassium chlorate Production of perfluorinated organic compounds such as trifluoroacetic acid by the process of electrofluorination Production of electrolytic copper as a cathode, from refined copper of lower purity as an anode. Electrolysis has many other uses. Production of oxygen for spacecraft and nuclear submarines. Production of hydrogen for fuel, using a cheap source of electrical energy. Electrolysis is also used in the cleaning and preservation of old artifacts. Because the process separates the non-metallic particles from the metallic ones, it is very useful for cleaning a wide variety of metallic objects, from old coins to even larger objects including rusted cast iron cylinder blocks and heads when rebuilding automobile engines. Rust removal from small iron or steel objects by electrolysis can be done in a home workshop using simple materials such as a plastic bucket, tap water, lengths of rebar, washing soda, baling wire, and a battery charger. Topic. Manufacturing processes In manufacturing, electrolysis can be used for Electroplating, where a thin film of metal is deposited over a substrate material. Electroplating is used in many industries for either functional or decorative purposes, as in vehicle bodies and nickel coins. Electrochemical machining ECM, where an electrolytic cathode is used as a shaped tool for removing material by anodic oxidation from a workpiece. ECM is often used as technique for deburing or for etching metal surfaces like tools or knives with a permanent mark or logo. Topic: <laughs> Competing half reactions in solution electrolysis. Using a cell containing inert platinum electrodes, electrolysis of aqueous solutions of some salts leads to reduction of the cations e.g., metal deposition with, e.g., zinc salts and oxidation of the anions e.g. evolution of bromine with bromides. However, with salts of some metals e.g. sodium hydrogen is evolved at the cathode, and for salts containing some anions e.g. sulfate SO42- oxygen is evolved at the anode. In both cases this is due to water being reduced to form hydrogen or oxidized to form oxygen. In principle the voltage required to electrolyze a salt solution can be derived from the standard electrode potential for the reactions at the anode and cathode. The standard electrode potential is directly related to the Gibbs free energy, delta G, for the reactions at each electrode and refers to an electrode with no current flowing. An extract from the table of standard electrode potentials is shown below. In terms of electrolysis, this table should be interpreted as follows Oxidized species often a cation with a more negative cell potential are more difficult to reduce than oxidized species with a more positive cell potential. For example, it is more difficult to reduce a sodium ion to a sodium metal than it is to reduce a zinc ion to a zinc metal. Reduced species often an anion with a more positive cell potential are more difficult to oxidize than reduced species with a more negative cell potential. For example, it is more difficult to oxidize sulfate anions than it is to oxidize bromide anions. Using the Nernst equation the electrode potential can be calculated for a specific concentration of ions, temperature and the number of electrons involved. For pure water, pH 7, the electrode potential for the reduction producing hydrogen is minus 0.41 volts. The electrode potential for the oxidation producing oxygen is plus 0.82 V. Comparable figures calculated in a similar way, for 1 m zinc bromide, zinc bromide, are minus 0.76 volts for the reduction to Zn metal and plus 1.10 volts for the oxidation producing bromine. The conclusion from these figures is that hydrogen should be produced at the cathode and oxygen at the anode from the electrolysis of water, which is at variance with the experimental observation that zinc metal is deposited and bromine is produced. The explanation is that these calculated potentials only indicate the thermodynamically preferred reaction. 
In practice many other factors have to be taken into account such as the kinetics of some of the reaction steps involved. These factors together mean that a higher potential is required for the reduction and oxidation of water than predicted, and these are termed overpotentials. Experimentally it is known that overpotentials depend on the design of the cell and the nature of the electrodes. For the electrolysis of a neutral pH 7 sodium chloride solution, the reduction of sodium ion is thermodynamically very difficult and water is reduced evolving hydrogen leaving hydroxide ions in solution. At the anode the oxidation of chlorine is observed rather than the oxidation of water since the overpotential for the oxidation of chloride to chlorine is lower than the overpotential for the oxidation of water to oxygen. The hydroxide ions and dissolved chlorine gas react further to form hypochlorous acid. The aqueous solutions resulting from this process is called electrolyzed water and is used as a disinfectant and cleaning agent. Topic. Research trends Topic. Electrolysis of carbon dioxide The electrochemical reduction or electrocatalytic conversion of CO2 can produce value-added chemicals such methane, ethylene, ethane, etc. The electrolysis of carbon dioxide gives formate or carbon monoxide, but sometimes more elaborate organic compounds such as ethylene. This technology is under research as a carbon-neutral route to organic compounds. Electrolysis of acidified water Electrolysis of water produces hydrogen. 2H2O L 2H2 G plus O2 G E0 equals plus 1.229 VTHE energy efficiency of water electrolysis varies widely. The efficiency of an electrolyzer is a measure of the enthalpy contained in the hydrogen to undergo combustion with oxygen, or some other later reaction, compared with the input electrical energy. Heat – enthalpy values for hydrogen are well published in science and engineering texts, as 144 MJ per kilogram. Note that fuel cells not electrolyzers cannot use this full amount of heat – enthalpy, which has led to some confusion when calculating efficiency values for both types of technology. In the reaction, some energy is lost as heat. Some reports quote efficiencies between 50% and 70% for alkaline electrolyzers, however, much higher practical efficiencies are available with the use of PEM polymer electrolyte membrane electrolysis and catalytic technology, such as 95% efficiency. NREL estimated that 1 kg of hydrogen roughly equivalent to 3 kg, or 4 L, of petroleum in energy terms could be produced by wind-powered electrolysis for between $5.55 in the near term and 2 dollars and 27 cents in the long term about 4% of hydrogen gas produced worldwide is generated by electrolysis and normally used on site hydrogen is used for the creation of ammonia for fertilizer via the haber process and converting heavy petroleum sources to lighter fractions via hydrocracking equals <laughs> topic Carbon – Hydrocarbon Assisted Water Electrolysis CAWE. Equals, Recently, to reduce the energy input, the utilization of carbon coal, alcohols hydrocarbon solution, and organic solution glycerol, formic acid, ethylene glycol, etc. with co-electrolysis of water has been proposed as a viable option. The carbon hydrocarbon assisted water electrolysis, so called CAWE process for hydrogen generation would perform this operation in a single electrochemical reactor. This system energy balance can be required only around 40% electric input with 60% coming from the chemical energy of carbon or hydrocarbon. This process utilizes solid coal, carbon particles or powder as fuels dispersed in acid, alkaline electrolyte in the form of slurry and the carbon-contained source co-assist in the electrolysis process as following theoretical overall reactions. Carbon, coal slurry C plus 2H2O to CO2 plus 2H2E. Topic. 0.21 volts reversible voltage e 
46 volts thermo neutral voltage or carbon coal slurry C plus H2O to CO plus H2E topic 0.52 volts reversible voltage E 0.91 volts thermo neutral voltage Thus, this CAWE approach is that the actual cell over potential can be significantly reduced to below 1 volt as compared to 1.5 volts for conventional water electrolysis. Topic: Electrocrystallization. A specialized application of electrolysis involves the growth of conductive crystals on one of the electrodes from oxidized or reduced species that are generated in situ. The technique has been used to obtain single crystals of low-dimensional electrical conductors, such as charge transfer salts. History Scientific pioneers of electrolysis include Pioneers of batteries Alessandro Volta Gaston Plante See also <laughs> <laughs>